evening and welcome to another writing vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name is Stephanie and I am writing a book for the very first time with absolutely zero experience and it's really showing today because I am back at the start. This is my first writing vlog since I decided to trash my book and start completely over and I'm ditching six months of work and going back to the very beginning. So tonight is all about brainstorming. Since I already have my concept, I just need to get a little more work done around the concept. I need to really solidify it. And my goal tonight is to come up with not necessarily a complete story, but kind of a path that the story will take um, in terms of the concept. So I wanna make sure I have it really good in the beginning and then it kind of flows and then ends up at an endpoint. And I also want to understand the background of the concept. So that way, when we jump into the story, maybe the reader doesn't know everything, but I kind of already know how everything plays out and why. I have a few hours tonight to work on my book, so I thought it would be nice to show you my brainstorming process, especially in the evening, because I have found through a lot of trial and error that I am most creative at night. In the past, I tried to do a lot of my brainstorming during the day, especially because I could film better during the day. I'm more prepared um, at night. A lot of times I'm like rushing to get stuff ready for the end of the day. I look like a mess and <laughs> I'm not really necessarily wanting to film, but I think it's important to film my creative process. And since my creative process is best at night, I'm gonna start filming at night. And also it tends to be when I'm more relaxed and I have a little bit more time to work on things. So I think this is a good change of pace compared to what I was doing before. So all I'm doing for tonight is taking this brand new notebook and this pen and brainstorming away. And I'm just going to take my concept and really work on it. I'm going to write down whatever comes to mind. I'm going to free write, write sentences or paragraphs. I'll make diagrams or flow charts. I'll make lists of possibilities. When it comes down to it, I'm really gonna write whatever comes to my mind. I don't care if it's a dumb idea or not. I'm just really focused on how am I gonna solve problems? How am I gonna develop the concept? What are all the possible things that I could think of that could make my story more unique or more interesting. And I'm just gonna write it all down and see where it goes. And I know because I've been brainstorming enough that once I start going, I'm just gonna go off on a tangent and it's gonna get a little crazy. I have set the mood for my writing. I've got the candle going, my fall decor, and a little YouTube ambiance. And I've got all the tools I need to get started brainstorming, so it's time to get to it. just finished about an hour of brainstorming and this has been one of the most productive brainstorming sessions I've ever had. I've come up with so many new ideas and so many things going off this concept that it makes me feel like trashing my book and starting over was the right decision for me. That still remains to be seen because I'm only on like day one of reworking this but I really feel like this is great. It's I've come at it with a fresh set of eyes. I feel like the story I'm coming up with now is richer and it's full of a lot more interesting things. So it makes me really excited just to brainstorm and even talk about it. I did get about two pages of notes, which is wild to me because I've only been doing this for like an hour, but I'm excited to see what else I come up with later tonight. I'm starting to get a little tired. My brain is starting to slow down and I'm starting to lose focus a little bit. So I think it's time for a break. 
My break tonight is going to be making some chocolate chip cookies, my personal favorite and something I make on this channel quite frequently. The dough is already pre-made and frozen. I make it in batches. So I'm just gonna pull some out of the freezer, put it on a tray and pop it in the oven. It'll be really fast. Then I'll have a little snack that I can eat while I resume brainstorming later this evening. Well, it's the end of the evening and it was a super productive evening. I'm so glad I decided to spend a few hours just really working on this brainstorming. I've come up with some great ideas around this concept and I already have a pretty solid plan in how to incorporate this concept into my novel. My goal is to get kind of a roadmap laid out today. I didn't quite finish and that's okay. I can finish it another day, but I did get enough done that I feel like this is starting to become a really solid story. And that is really exciting. I already feel like I've made so much more progress, more progress than I even did on my previous attempt at this book. I'm really excited about the things I'm coming up with and I can't wait to just work on it more and come up with even more things. I ended up with about three pages of notes, which is wild to me because Normally when I brainstorm, I only get like maybe half a page, a page if I'm lucky. And tonight after just a few hours work, three pages. I just think that's another sign that this is going really well so far. But unfortunately I do have to call it a night. It's getting late. I'm getting a little bit tired, a little bit sleepy. And I just wanna go to bed right now. It was fun while it lasted and I can't wait to get back to this in another writing vlog.